Hey, what is going on guys? It is Lachlan here and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Pokemon Omega Ruby series back here at the cave where we last ended off. I'm going to quickly have another chat because I do need to refresh my memory on what she said. Couldn't really grasp all of it at once. She said a lot of things. Um, actually, we're actually going a different way. So this might actually lead us to a different path and maybe get a couple items. I did say I wanted to pick up Bagon while I was here, who is exclusively in this own little cave. Um, it, if I remember, it was a very small cave. I think this is actually it. It was on the other side of a surf, and it was in this very, very small area. Oh, we got a cheeky TM. Dragon Claw. Yep, this is it. I believe this is the only place you can catch Bagon. It's on this side. Yep, I can see it up here. Alright, so let's try and catch a cheeky Bagon here, because it is quite rare. Now, I remember this, because I always try... I gotta run off a of repel right now. Um, no. Okay. Done. Let's find a Bagon, guys. Dun, 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 dun. No, Soul Rock, we don't want any of you. We just want Bagons. Because they're like our Bay, but they're a Bagon. That's horrible, I know. Okay. Uh, and I think I will lead with Pikachu as well. Um, to get a cheeky nuzzle off. Wish I had a false swiper. That'd be freaking excellent. Um, or a hold me back or something. Alright. I feel like I'm healing his cry. Uh, he hearing his cry, but... It's not on the land, so I can't do anything about it. Okay, what do we got this time? Another soul rock. Actually, no, I can hear soul rock. I can't hear. That's the cry of soul rock. Okay, no, run again. Oh, please tell me he can get away, because he's a lower level. I'm scared he won't. All right, please just bless us with a Bagon. His finding rate was still pretty rare, I believe, but you can see it in the bottom. Um, now, hopefully this episode, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, not find gold mats. Um, go down and uh, check out some of the stuff uh, that we have to do with the quest. Now, I believe we ended up talking to one of the Draconid people, saying stuff about Rayquaza, um, who, if you're looking at the layout right now, looks pretty freaking awesome as a Mega. Um, hopefully, going to have a visit from him and uh, do some really awesome stuff. But crying out loud, we're here for one Pokemon and we can't seem to find it. Um... I don't think I can use my Poke Locator because there's nothing appearing out of the the dust, the meteor. I don't know even what to call this. Um, okay, we just turned it on. Hopefully, please just bless us with a Bagon. Oh my God, Bagon Plus. I just want a Bagon because Salamence Mega is so cool. All right, let's try again. Let's try this again. Okay. I'll give this like two more attempts, and if not, we're escape roping out of here. Because it does take quite a while to get to this one spot, so... It takes like about 5-10 minutes to get here, so... I'd rather get it while I'm here. Okay. Oh my god. One more chance. No, two more chances, then we're out. I think I said two more just before, but... I want to give it... I want to... I really want to see this guy, man. Because like, this is pure nostalgia right here. I remember grinding out this place, and then finding out you can catch Bagon. It was just like, oh my god. This is so hype. Let's go get him. And uh, when I first saw him appear on the screen, I was like, oh my god. Okay. Golbats and Soul Rocks, please piss off. Okay. I don't want you. This is my last... Oh, no. If he... Oh, dude. If he uses... Are you kidding me right now? Are you... Please let us go. What the frick was that? I don't even know what to say right now. That's so rude. Okay. I'm going to quickly use a full restore on him. And uh, then we're going to quickly try one more attempt at finding this bloody Pokemon. Um, who I just want to get because he's freaking awesome. And hopefully they'll bless me with it. Here we go. Please, Bagon. Freaking hell, man. It's funny. It, it's just like, I just want to do one more. Just one more, please. Just one more. And then you're, you're here forever. Uh, at least he got away this time. I swear if he led with a... What is it? It's like something that, that traps you in battle. I forgot what it's called. Um, one more. Just one more. I just want to get the Bagon. Please. Please let me have the Bagon. Come on, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Bagon, Bagon, Bagon. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's not meant to be that rare. It's the only place you can find the damn thing. Oh, my God. Okay. Please. All I ask is that we find this guy. Alright. 
Come on. I can hear a, a weird cry, but that's probably Soul Rock. All right, here we go. Bagon, please. You are not even kidding me right now. I don't even know what to do. Okay, it says here Meteor Falls is the only place. I'm going to quickly check his catch rate. Uh, sorry, appear rate. Okay. One floor, two floor. Generation. I'm going to find the bit. Oh, wow. You can actually find Dex Nag exclusive. Oh, how do you Dex Nav? I've never done the Dex Nav. Um, okay. I've never actually done that before. You can find Clefairies and stuff in here. It's actually pretty cool. Um, anyway. Uh, oh, a Bagon! Oh, I wasn't even looking at that damn screen! Bagon! Oh my god! Oh my god, we did it! I was looking at the other screen. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay. So there we go. He is paralyzed. Let's make this count, guys. Holy crap. Okay. Man, you're so weak, Pikachu. We're gonna, we're gonna evolve you whether you like it or not. Smash some meteors on his head, even though it'll probably do nothing. Yep, Zen Headbutt. He's dead. I don't even care. <laughs> I do not even care. Oh, 1 HP, eh? Discharge. Let's go. Okay. It's not very effective. Crunch. He's dead. Okay. He did his job, though. Then we'll escape rope out and uh, leave with our bay gone. Our bay gone. Okay, use next Pokemon. We'll send out Welma. Do some more low damage, I guess. Um, let's try strength on him. I'm not trying to kill him, obviously. Still did decent damage, to be fair. Um, I'll probably leave it at that. He's not super hard to catch, I would only assume. We have enough Ultra Balls, 62 indeed, um, <laughs> to hopefully catch him with. Paralyzed, about third health. Should be a good chance. Two. Ooh, he's playing hard to get. He is playing hard to get. Okay. Let's go again then, shall we? Not as hard to get as that misprit, though. He's not playing that hard. Alright, one. Two. Three. Ding. There we go. If only I'd seen that when I caught misprit. If only. Okay. Bagon was caught. There we go. Added to the Pokedex. <laughs> oh, God. And there he is. Times encountered two. Maybe, oh, I think I've seen him in battle once. All right. Transferred to box one. Okay. Off we shall go. Let's get out our things and leave. Thanks for the easy Pokemon. Now, I still don't know where to go in my... I wish I had a quest log because I'm not sure where I need to go exactly. Um, I should have asked the lady. I think, oh, because she, she gave us the meteorite stone, so I assume I have to go back to the space center. Use the Eon Flute. Let's go, Latios. Back to Mozdeep City. And uh, hopefully, now we'll probably need to get another meteorite. <laughs> Honestly, wouldn't be surprised if he's like, yo, we actually need, like, another meteorite, man. Like, we need another meteorite, you know. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. We're really high up now. Because of that mountain, we used it to get higher up. Okay, yeah, the Nameless Cabin isn't disappearing, so we will take that on at a later date. Moz Deep City Land, yes please. It's so cool seeing the minimap on my second screen, though. It's nice and cool. Alright, down we go. Um, I want to see what actually... Just to see, what's Bagon's find rate? It was 25%. 50% Golbat, 25% Solrock, and 25% Bagon. So we actually did get pretty unlucky. It was like a one in four. And we, well, technically, I don't, actually, I don't know how it would work because it's not actually like that. Um, anyway, Moz Deep City Space Center. Let's go. Um, up to the top floor. Is that like an ice cream on the Pokemon? No. <laughs> Alrighty. And no. I got the meteorite shot from young Steven. Now if we can just harness this energy and complete our device. That girl passed by... Oh, uh, I didn't... It looks like I didn't read too much of the quest log. I don't know where I'm meant to go. Um, ooh, damn it. Um, because he received it, so therefore I must... Oh, whoops. I have my... I have Alie's video on the side. What the hell? I accidentally clicked off for a second. My apologies, guys. Um, alright, anyway. I think I need to go to his house in Mozdeep. Now, there should be a Beldum sitting there for me as well after the Elite Four. Um... 
they normally put like a a beldum on the table um, that you can just take whenever if you want um, which we already don't need because we have because <laughs> we already have uh, like, you know like the best one a shiny one and a metagross at that uh, but it, it'll of course make sense for people that don't get it uh, soon because then they won't obviously get the, uh, the free shiny belt that is freaky just a bunch of scary girls um, <laughs> I gotta find his damn house he's probably not at his house anyway and then we gotta find Zinnia as well oh this guy I remember this guy Okay, when I was young, I traveled the world as a secret base expert, and even now, I've become an old geezer. My passion is not worn. I am waiting impatiently for a secret base to appear just beyond that door. I don't know how they're doing it in this, but I remember if you got the e-reader attachment, which I bought because it only I found it, I did something for Pokemon, which was an instant purchase for me. You put it in, you scan a card, you get these little pack of cards, and then a random trainer with high-level teams would be on the other side of it, and you take them down. It was so fun. Um, and not many people had it because it was quite uh, f hard to find at stores. Um, but yeah, I remember that. And they have the door there. So I wonder how that works in this one. Um, still looking for damn Steven's house. This place has changed, I swear. Um, is this it over here? It was quite distant from the rest. And we're just sitting there on the table, a little Pokeball. Um, let's check this house. Um, no. What about this next one? That's the Pokemon Center. What? This can't be right. Did we check this house? This house looks special. Yep, that is his house. Oh my god. I feel like I need to go above to try and see. Wait, did I go beyond gym? You can't even. Huh. Maybe it's not there. Maybe it's that empty one. Alright, regardless. Either way, we have to try and find where to go. Um, and I don't know where that is, so I think what I might actually have to do is fly, because I didn't read it, it said something about Zinnia and Meteorite Shards, I should have read the last bit, I didn't read the important part, I read, I read all the, the crap, I didn't read the good parts, um, so let's see, I'm just going to go straight to Meteorite Falls again, I think, and try to chat and see what they actually wanted. Um, which will require us going all the way back, I think. Um, which would be quite obnoxious. Obnoxious. Um, but we can fly all the way over there at least to the entrance, I believe. Okay, Meteorite Falls. Actually, it's probably better that I fly there instead of going through all the crap last time. Um, sorry about backtracking, guys, but hopefully we might be able to catch more of these items in the cave. Because I did see on the side that there were a ton of items to, uh, get. So let's go inside. Um, getting back to the top should be quite easy. Oh, you can just do it through there. Um, and now I'm definitely going to turn that on. Uh, I wonder how we can use our thing to... Oh, maybe that's ones that appear on the ground, maybe. Yeah, that's probably it. They appear on the ground. Oh, why do I have Groudon in my front spot? I hate that. It just takes so long for him to Mega Evolve. It's like, come on, man. We know you can Mega Evolve. You do it all the time. All right. Okay, desolate. and then he's got the Desolate Land ability that makes it even longer. It's like, come on, man. This is just obnoxious. All right. So let's uh, go ahead and do a couple things here. Pokemon. Swap. Uh, swamp it in the front spot. And then activate a uh, cheeky Max Repel. I wish he told me where to go. I can't believe that. I swear he said something about going back to the space station. And he did, because he returned it, but... He didn't give any any other indication of where I needed to go next. Um, okay, let's go up. I wonder where that takes us, actually. That takes us closer in the right direction. Never actually been up there. Um, I think we're going to take one waterfall, though. And then we can just walk through the rest because we've already taken on the trainers. It shouldn't be long at all. Alright. Through here. And actually, we might be able to get that secret item on the way back. Which would be quite handy. Not going to lie. Actually, I think we stopped going forward. Because that's where we ended off. Yeah. No, this is where the... Yeah. We want to try and get around. No, we don't actually want to be here. Alright. We want to go around. Because... Yeah, we want to go across... Um, where do we come through? Ah, we want to go down here. Or do we come through here? Sorry, we came through here. We want to go down that ladder. 
My apologies, I'm too busy looking at the water and how blue it is. It's just so blue. <laughs> Such blue water. Okay, um, now this way... Oh, we have versed her, so let's try and avoid that. Versed him. We want to go up these ladders and talk to the... There's two lay old people here. We go past them. The draconid people. Yes, another repel, please. And then talk to her again. That silver-haired dream boat said he was headed back to Rustbo. Okay. For crying out loud, that would have made so much more sense. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Back we go, escape rope. We're running out of these. Um, I've never used these before, but they're just so handy to get out of caves. Okay. I might actually pick up some more. Okay. And to make some time up, we'll fly there instead of actually um, using the, the other thing. So Rust Borrow straight away. I seriously do wonder what is quicker. Going through that menu and clicking fly? Nah, because he's got to do the landing and flying animation anyway. It's probably... Because you got to actually fly there as the other thing as well. Alright, anyway, let's go back to Devon Supercorp and see what these guys have to say. He said he was going back... Oh, wait. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Okay. Wah, whoa. Bruh. Ouch. Yeah, seriously. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me before. Oh, hey, yo, geek. I have got to help... You're the kid I trained I met before. Oh, he'll probably have a high-level Poochiana. Yeah, he definitely will. He definitely will have a high-level Poochiana. I'm so mighty Anna. Yeah, knew it. Because that was the one that, uh, like, sort of chased him away with. Was, like, a Poochiana. That's cute, though. That's really cute. Too bad you're going to get the absolute rack. All right. <laughs> I wish I'd hammer on this guy. Okay, so he's going to halve it. Okay. Hmm. If you're going to halve it... Huh. Screw it. Let's Mega Evolve Earthquake. I don't care if you'll harm it. Let's give him a go for his money. Bang. I hate the Intimidate rule. It's just such... It's the worst. Because my special... My, my physical attack is get wrecked by it. I can't really use special attacks. I'm, and that's the thing. Intimidate on him is so good because all fighting moves are like... They're pretty much physical for the most part. Um, there are a couple that aren't. Like Focus Blast. But for the most part, they're karate chops, cross chops, the whole nine. So, um, it's really hard to kill him. But, let's finish him off with an ice beam. Because that's not physical. And he has one more Pokemon. Who is it? This, I'm, I'm going to say another Mighty Anna. A Golbat. Oh, uh, you can stay out. We'll just ice beam you. Nice and easy. He's level 50. He might be a two bang rock slide. Nah, it's physical. We want special attack. And done. Awesome. Golbat taken out like the rest. Swampert got level 50, 57. Not bad at all, indeed. Okay. And when we're getting the level as well. Team Magma Grunt, down. <laughs> yeah, another defeat. Um, also, guys, could you please let me know where I can get a Thunderstone? I want to evolve this Pikachu so I can not die as much in battle. Oh, seriously, another one? Uh, I'm going to do it for Courtney. Alright, do it for the Vine while you're at it, I guess. Okay. <laughs> another another Team Magma. Uh, one Pokemon. A Weezing. Mm, probably has Levitate. I will go with a... Mm, I'll go with a Surf and Turf. Let's see how that can work. There we go. Critical hit. <laughs> oh, that's so cheeky. Because, yeah, the Earthquake won't hit him because he has Levitate. All right. Grew down... Le grew to level 57. Okay. And there we go. He just got the right... Another one? Please, not another one. Please, please, please. I beg. I beg. I beg. Please, not another one. No! No! <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, no. Damn it. I thought you were hungry. Damn it. Damn it. Why you do this? I wanted you to be hungry. Ah. Okay, Golbat. It's okay. Ice Beam coming your way. We're running out of these, by the way. Um, so, Ice Beam on this kid. And then... Not sure what else. I don't want to Mega... Nah, screw it. Let's Mega Evolve. Alright. So, I'm going to say Golbat. And then I'm going to say he's going to go with a Camerupt. Because we haven't seen one of those yet. Or a Claydol. I swear they used to use Baltoy and Claydol a lot on their team. But I haven't seen it on their team. Like, I think I've seen it once, maybe? Um, on all these Team Magma teams. Alright. Here we go. What's up next? Camera up. Knew it. Okay, hadn't seen him in a while. Alright, looks like we're going in with a Surf and Turf on the camera up. 
And there is your surf, buddy. Okay, and then Courtney will probably come out at the end and be like, yo. Because three's a nice number to end off on. Duo, triple, that four would be stupid. If it goes to four, it might go to five as well. That scares me. Okay, I'm so hungry. Awesome. Now go get some food, you little rat. Okay. Here we go. Please, last one. Okay. Thank you. You helped me again. As my thanks, I'll give you another great... Oh, no. It's not time for this. We're in big trouble. Team Magma stole the control device for the link cable that a company has been developing. Oh, no. It was short and pretty, and she had a nasty look in her eyes. That's Zinnia. What shall I do? They must be have headed for this Mosdeep Space Center. Steven must have gone ahead to the Space Center, but I'm worried. Okay, so guys, we're 20 minutes in. We'll probably wrap this episode up right there. A nice little big on catching episode as well, making further progress in the storyline. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like rating below, and uh, we'll be back with the next episode, hopefully going to the Space Center. See you guys then.